That's the current schedule. Miss Ochimizu is absent again today, but good luck to you both. In no way, son. Um, does that mean what I think it means? Well, maybe. But then again, this isn't the first time she hasn't answered her phone for two days straight. I've already spoken to the agency about the rest of the group, so there's no need to worry about them either. But it's been two days! I know, but the agency can't make any more waves with the event organizers. We're checking out a number of possibilities as we speak, so I'm sure they'll turn up soon. For right now, you just need to concentrate on your work. Okay, Konami-chan? I don't see how I can, but yes, sir. By the way, Konami-chan, there'll be an interview portion in today's shoot. I've spoken to the reporter already, so if they ask you about the rest of the group, make sure you say they're feeling ill. But that's not true. Inoue-san, I wanted to ask something about the new song's lyrics. Good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Thank you for coming today. You can ask me later, okay? For now, focus on your work. Part in the lyrics. I wonder if it's just me misremembering. Well, let's get on with it. We'll be shooting some coverage from the practice right before the music festival. Let's start by getting some comments from the performers. All right, roll cameras. The long-awaited Love Meets Bonds Festival is coming up this weekend. Today, we're visiting some of the performers on set. We're excited to join Konami Mashita and Nanako Dojima. Hello, ladies. Oh, hello. I'm Konami Mashita, your prize cow. I sleep off every meal. I'm Nanako Dojima. You are so cute, Nanako-chan. But don't let her looks fool you. This girl has some surprising hidden talent. We've been told that she's acting as Konamine's dance practice partner. Nanako-chan, what's it like dancing with Konamine? Is it fun? Um, yes, it's fun. <laughs> How cool for you. But I don't think I see the other members. Where are they today, Konamine? Oh, well... So they're taking a break. Sorry about that, everyone. Oh, is that what happened? What a shame! I can only hope that they get well soon. Oh, do I need to wrap up? Uh, I'm sorry, it looks like we're out of time. Now, we heard that we might get a special sneak peek at the dance they've been working on. Oh, we don't have time for that either. But it seems we can at least fit one person's practice in. Okay, this seems like a great opportunity for Nanako-chan to show off her talent. What do you say? Huh? Is that okay? Of course! Don't worry about it. Just show your fans across the country how amazing you are. I didn't know I had any fans. But if Konami believes in me, then I'll try. Oh, how cute! Okay, Nanako Dojima, show us your dancing. Cue the music. Let's get it started now. One, two, and... Ah, so cute! You're the best, Nanako-san!
I did good. <laughs> How is a little girl so good? You know, the folks are pretty scary. for Nanako-chan's dancing. So much to look forward to at LMB. We're even told that Kanamine will be debuting a new song there. The theme of her new song, Calistegia, is said to be about bonds. We can only assume that the bond between Kanamine and the audience will grow even stronger through it. Calistegia. Those lyrics. Well, it seems we're out of time, so we'd better start wrapping this up. Was I just misremembering? Always on the run from showing how I felt. Where did I hear that part? To finish off, let's hear from Kanamine how excited she is for Love Meets Bonds. Ah. <sighs> uh, Kanamine? Hello? Huh? Right! I'm super excited! I I'll do my best! And there we have it, everyone! Come out to the Love Meets Bonds Festival to see Kanamine perform live! That's a wrap! Well done, Konami-chan. Let's get going, guys. Thanks for your time. Thanks oh, for man. all the Thanks hard work. Thanks for all the hard work. Today, I think it went real really. well today. Really. I think it went well today, too. Thanks yeah, you for were all terrific. the hard work. You were the best. Good job. Absolutely adorable. You both did well, especially with that dance. It really helped us that you kept your head during the interview, Konami-chan. I'm sorry you had to dodge the question about the other girls. I mean, it is what it is, but I won't be happy if you don't seriously look for them. I know. It's not like I'm not worried about them myself. Why don't we take a break until your lesson this afternoon? There's catered lunch in your dressing room, so eat something if you can. Are you okay, big sis? Huh? Oh, I'm fine. I'm sorry for spacing out so much. Wait, I always do that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shape up once I eat lunch. Nanako-san, we just have to charge off to the dressing room. Uh-huh, we just have to charge off. here <laughs> it's nothing like that it's because nanako chan's here today too you can eat whatever you like can i add this one it's like an inside out inari sushi you know what it is even without seeing the inside of it you must be quite the foodie nanako chan uh-huh i saw it on tv ah that makes sense well, of course you can have it. You're free to have all of these if you'd like. I'm okay with just this one. Thank you. <laughs> you sure? Here you go.
Oh, right. You mentioned that before the interview today. Sure. What is it? I think I had part of the lyrics wrong. There's a line that goes, Always by your side, whether rain or shine. Right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's it. Why? Did I give you the wrong lyrics? Oh, no! That's not it. It's just... I remember that part of the song differently. It went, never telling you how I really feel. Oh, those are the original lyrics. They've been changed since. The original? A lot happened, after all. Huh? I'm surprised you knew those lyrics, though. Mizo Chimizu was the only one who'd know the old lyrics to that song. Mizo Chimizu? Mm-hmm. An idol named Yuko Osada with Takuro Productions wrote that song before she passed away. It was shelved for quite some time, but Mizu Chimizu brought it back to use as Kanamin Kitchen's new song. Did she not tell you any of this, Konami-chan? anything about that though Yuko Osada I've heard that name before um well I wouldn't be surprised she was a top idol at our agency at the time but it seems she was quite upset over something I don't know the reasons why the lyrics got changed but there are rumors that Mizuchimizu may have been the one to change it that's odd, though. I mean, Yuko-san's legendary piece was Ms. Ochimizu's selling point for the new song. I remember her saying she explained that to everyone in Kanamin Kitchen. I was the only one she didn't tell. Why? You know, a speaking. Oh, coach, it's been a pleasure working with you. Yes, the agency told me earlier. Oh, of course, I'll come right away. Yes, I'll be there soon. I'm sorry, you'll have to excuse me. D did something happen? Things have been a bit of a mess with your dance coach. It seems Mizo Chimizu didn't submit the invoice for the added dance lessons to accounting. Well, of course not. I mean, Mizo Chimizu was... It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'll go talk to him myself. Anyway, I'm going to cancel your afternoon lesson. You don't have any urgent work, so feel free to take the rest of the day off. I'm sorry I can't drive you home, though. Oh, okay. What does this mean? I just don't get it. Our new song, the lyrics to Calistegia were changed. Were the words I knew the ones that Yuko-san wrote? She wrote our new song, an idol who passed away. Ah, uh, a dead idol. Sis, does your head hurt? Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I'm sorry. Did I worry you? Do you want me to go get someone? Should we go see a doctor? Don't worry. I'm just a bit tired. Let's eat our lunches, Nanako-san. Also, I'm going to try giving your dad a call. You're going to call dad? Okay. Yes, but first, let's dig into this food. I really need to contact Ojima-san. Could the dead idol in the rumor really be her? This is Ojima. What's the matter? 
Dojima-san, I figured it out about that dead idol. A few years ago, someone with Takara Productions passed away. And Kanamin Kitchen is going to be singing her song at the LMB Fest in a couple days. Mizo Chimizu never told me, so I didn't know until just now. Calm down, Mashita. You're certain about what you're telling me. Oh, um, yes. All right, let's meet up in an hour. I have some information, too. You do? It'd be better to meet somewhere unconnected to your work. Any suggestions? How about my place? Uh, if you're okay with somewhere boring like that. What does it matter if it's boring or not? That sounds fine. It's the address where Nanako stayed yesterday, right? I'll be there in an hour. Got it. It's not too far from here, so we should be arriving about the same time. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Jeez, that guy hangs up too fast. Dad's always like that. He only says things that he needs to. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm sure your dad didn't mean anything by it, but it's still a little blunt. Somewhere unconnected to my work, though. I wonder why he insisted on that. serve some tea especially since you took the time to buy cake oh, don't worry about it I'm sorry Nanako but I need you to wait over there for a bit we have some important things to talk about okay so um what's this information you mentioned don't be so hasty Let's start off with what you were telling me you figured out who this dead idol is right I don't have any proof or anything, but I'm pretty sure. There used to be an idol at Takara Productions by the name of Yuko Osada. The song we're going to be singing at the festival is the last song she left behind. Oh, and one more thing. I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but that song's lyrics were changed. And it might have been Mizo Chimizu who rewrote them. Bonfest, the dead idol, and that group of yours. This shows they're all connected. Yes. I found out a few things as well. I can corroborate that the dead idol in the rumor is Yuko Osada, just like you thought. My contact I mentioned before looked into the rumor and told me as much. I trust my source on this one. wasn't much help not necessarily you gave me a second source on what my contact told me I don't see any reason to doubt it now there's more to it too remember the man who assaulted you in the dressing room when we first met that whole needing your blood to lift the curse thing was bogus no version of the rumor says anything about that it must have been an exaggeration that man came up with on his own after he saw the video and started to panic so you don't need to worry about masses of people out for your blood. Oh, right. That's a relief.
The other information I have is about Yuko Asada. I looked into this myself. Right before her death, witnesses saw her argue with someone. This person had managed Osada since her debut and was her manager even at the time of the argument. They've been working hard together and this person was passionate about Osada's career. That's why the witness testified that it was rare to see them quarrel like that. Then, are you saying that Yuko-san was... No, they were thoroughly questioned and found innocent in the matter of Osada's death. So they didn't kill Osada, if that's what you were asking. But there's more to the story. After that, this person quit Takara Productions. It's hard to tell, but the agency might have made them the scapegoat. But even so, they stayed in the industry, working as a freelancer, which they still do to this day. It's someone you know quite well. Right. Yuko Osada's manager at the time was Kyoka Ochimizu. Wait, what? What does that mean? Why is everything so connected? Calm down, Mashta. I, I know that's a hard thing to ask in these circumstances. I felt goosebumps from the moment you mentioned Ochimizu's name, too. Osada's suicide, a cursed video, your missing groupmates, the festival coming up. At first glance, they all seem unrelated. But Kyoka Ochimizu is the common thread linking them all. No! There's no bones about it. I'll need to look into this Ochimizu. <laughs> I just came out here to check up on those kids. And here I am, caught up in the middle of the showbiz world. I much prefer watching it on TV from home. talking yeah I've said my piece sorry I didn't mean to go on for so long we'll be going now oh it's all right I'm just I'm sorry about everything anyway don't let this bother you too much I'll contact you again if I find out more let's play together again later big sis farewell oh for sure see you Farewell! Farewell?